Naughty me let the eggs go for a couple of days, two or three days. Had to collect them. And looks like one's just about to lay another one, by the looks of it. What I'm going to do, my uncle's working over there at the native bee station. We have a bit of a thing going, my uncle and I. He uh, keeps native bees on my property and they fertilise. In turn, they, they fertilise the flowers and my vegetables and all that. Which is a pretty good deal because I've got a big veggie patch and a large orchard of over a hundred fruit trees. So it's really good to have all those bees down there. And they're native bees, so they're very safe to have on your property. They don't sting, they're stingless. But they do a great job at going from flower to flower and making sure all my my flowers in my vegetable patch and, and all the fruit trees are pollinated so that it helps with making fruit and, and veg. So you know our poultry pen, well, if you follow my videos you would. It's a kidney shaped poultry pen. I won't elaborate too much more of it because I've got lots of videos on it. Ducks and chickens and quail. But anyway, in regards to the bees, the bees are, you just see his umbrella over the top of the chicken coop. We keep the bees right down the back. And the reason for that is they're out of the way, but they're also close to the native forest here. So they not only get into our veggie garden, but they also have access to a strawberry farm over there and all this native forest to eat and when the native forest isn't in flower much well then they pretty much are all in my veggie garden all right let's go and check out my uncle say hello how's it going going good how are you yeah good have you recovered from your holiday yet i have I have, it was a great holiday. I bought, um, I just picked up some eggs. I've got to give you about half of them, is that yeah, alright? That'd be good. Okay. Great. I read somewhere some wise saying from some smart aleck that there is something to the effect that there is no one in greater need of a holiday than someone who's just returned from a holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, well, the travel part of it was, was pretty uh, tough. But I most people wear themselves out more on a holiday than they do when they're yeah. working. But that's why, actually, we knew that. So the last three days we spent in a resort. Yeah. So we did all that trekking yeah. through Sapa and, and uh, Indochina. And then we ended up resting in a, in a resort down in southern Vietnam. Just taking it easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, swimming and taking it easy. No. All right, so what are you up to today? Is it maintenance? Well, when you're or? young, my advice yeah. is that an old man to a young man, when you're young, take it easy as often as you can because it doesn't last forever. No. <laughs> That's a fact. Yeah, well, I don't know if I could be called a young man anymore. <laughs> so what's happening today? Well, this is the time of the year when we we uh, split the hives we're going to split. Again? Jeeps. Well, Come this is October. Quick. I suppose this was the last video we did was October, wasn't it? Well, it would have been. That's the time of the year. Yeah. Well, the last splitting video, yeah. And that's one one down, a couple to go. What did the first one look like? Was it all right? Oh, it was. Because remember last time... It was, was just well enough to split, but yeah. I decided to split. It had plenty of brood. Yeah. didn't have a lot of stores. But uh, anyway, they can see how they get on. Okay. You win some, lose some, Mark. Remember last time they, they weren't doing the best, there was like several of the hives just, and we don't know why, because this forest area is good and they're always up in the veggie garden, and uh, they weren't growing as fast as we expected, or you expected. There wasn't as many bees in this as there should have been for the brood, and I wonder whether it's a result of being next door to a strawberry farm. Yeah, I was talking about that before. And, That's a possibility. And if they're using a uh, insecticide, that could be killing off the bees. Hmm. Yeah, see, there's a. See that fly is there straight away? That's a fly. Is that their thing? Oh, yeah, that hover thing. 
Oh yeah, yeah, it looks like a like a wasp. Yeah. There it is. Oh yeah. Where are we? Oh, he's too fast for me. That's a uh, mini. See, that's, that's got a fairly mini. good brood. Very little stores. I won't split him. He's got enough brood to split, but hasn't got enough supplies. Oh, okay. So supplies around the end of honey. Yeah. It hasn't got enough, so it's not well enough to split. No, it hasn't got enough okay. stores, so I'll leave him. Yeah. But as far as the hive goes, he's healthy enough. Oh, well, that's good. Well, I'd say the strawberry farm does spray. Yeah. You know, um, no doubt it does. It shouldn't have to because... Oh, every, you can't, you can't be commercial in any primary production today without spraying. Yeah, well, that's why I've got my own strawberries. That's what I think. Whoa! Well, was that a spider? Yeah, even the spiders are faster than an old man today. There he is. Got him. There he was. Mm. He won't eat any more bees. No. There again, a good size of brood. Yeah. Not enough... Uh, Supplies to split. Now that appears to have quite reasonable brood. Yeah. A lot of pollen at the top. Yep. A lot more pollen than the others had. There's that fly back again. Mimic fly there. I think you got it. Well, it felt like I got it, but it should have been between my hands anyway. I gave him a fright. That's that, that's that sort of wasp looking fly that lays larvae. The wasp mimic, yeah. Yeah, it lays the larva in the, um, eggs in the... Yeah, I'm not sure whether it lays eggs or live maggots. Right, okay. But they certainly clean a hive out very quickly. Oh, do they? So you're going to split this one then? I'll split that one. That's a nice lot of brood there. Mm. And a fairly dry split because instead of having honey here they've got uh, pollen there. Wow. Here's the advancing front coming up. These cells here are in the process of hatching out. They'll hatch up to the top and that'll follow it up. Mm. This one's ideal for splitting. If they get any fuller, there tends to be too much honey running around. Right. There's a lot of bees. Oh, I thought you were waving at me. No, they're all over me. Get them nose on my neck. They must like you. I'm not having any trouble here. No, you got a face thingy. Climb up my sleeves and also settle on my hands and wouldn't shift. They don't like settling on that. Right. Uh, so it's much better. <laughs> I don't like wearing gloves, but it's better than not wearing gloves with this job. I'm going to move back for a bit. Follow me. This is drama TV. Attack of the stingless bees. They've got the two sides together.
So you're doing all these today? Yes. You said you're going to come back tomorrow or something. Yeah, to separate them. Oh, okay. So you're doing them all today and yeah, then tomorrow? Yeah, I'll check them all today. Yep. Yeah. All right. There's a chalk underneath to drain any surplus honey at the bottom through the holes in the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's a black and white cockatoo. You can hear. Oh yeah. Yeah, the snipper white. They have a different call. I can, if I can get a picture of them, I will. That's not it. That's a chicken. The last week we've had a... Here's another preloader. Oh, there we go. Did, is he dead? That's his home. Oh, no, he wasn't. Oh, you've just ripped three legs off. Where'd he go? Down there, he's gone. Yeah. Got him. Get him? Yeah. Well, he could run just as fast with three legs as he could with six. Yeah, you'll have <laughs> trouble now with the uh, squashed back. I think we can see this cockatoo. Hang on, there he is through the trees there. I can get a shot on him. Use that tree as a reference. That there. There he is there. Black cockatoo. They eat the pine cones around here. All right. Well, I've got to get up to the garden and do more work. I've, yeah. I've got to uh, square the veggie patch away. Yeah. And to refurbish it since I was away. Yep. I've got a lot of overgrowth and weeds, and I want to get some summer crops in. Yep. Like some of the okra and some of those summer so I need to make some space and clean out all the weeds and stuff yeah. so you're going to come up for lunch if that's an invitation yeah I'll accept that yeah, yeah yeah okay cool well when you finish there just pop up the top right -o. and I'll have some singers on the go and have a couple right oh right, -o. all right. Good on you <laughs> okay cool. I won't knock that back no oh, and I'll put these in a carton for you as well all right all you right. don't want any more cartons do you no, nah, no, nah, I got plenty. Yeah. Every time the family visits us, they bring us a carton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thanks, Uncle Kevin. Okay. Good, mate. All right. Bye.